In physics, the kinetic energy of an object is the energy that it possesses due to its motion. It is defined as the work needed to accelerate a body of a given mass from rest to its stated velocity. Having gained this energy during its acceleration, the body maintains this kinetic energy unless its speed changes. The same amount of work is done by the body when decelerating from its current speed to a state of rest. In classical mechanics, the kinetic energy of a non-rotating object of mass m traveling at a speed v is 1 2 m v 2 display style begin small matrix frac 1 2 mv caret 2 end small matrix in relativistic mechanics this is a good approximation only when v is much less than the speed of light the standard unit of kinetic energy is the joule topic history and etymology The adjective kinetic has its roots in the Greek word kinesis kinesis, meaning motion. The dichotomy between kinetic energy and potential energy can be traced back to Aristotle's concepts of actuality and potentiality. The principle in classical mechanics that EMV2 was first developed by Gottfried Leibniz and Johann Bernoulli, who described kinetic energy as the living force, vis viva. Willem S. Gravesand of the Netherlands provided experimental evidence of this relationship. By dropping weights from different heights into a block of clay, Willem S. Gravesand determined that their penetration depth was proportional to the square of their impact speed. Emily du Chatelet recognized the implications of the experiment and published an explanation. The terms kinetic energy and work in their present scientific meanings date back to the mid 19th century. Early understandings of these ideas can be attributed to Gaspard Gustave Coriolis, who in 1829 published the paper titled Du calcul de l'effet des machines outlining the mathematics of kinetic energy. William Thomson, later Lord Kelvin, is given the credit for coining the term, "...kinetic energy", c. 1849–51. Overview. Energy occurs in many forms, including chemical energy, thermal energy, electromagnetic radiation, gravitational energy, electric energy, elastic energy, nuclear energy, and rest energy. These can be categorized in two main classes, potential energy and kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the movement energy of an object. Kinetic energy can be transferred between objects and transformed into other kinds of energy. Kinetic energy may be best understood by examples that demonstrate how it is transformed to and from other forms of energy. For example, a cyclist uses chemical energy provided by food to accelerate a bicycle to a chosen speed. On a level surface, this speed can be maintained without further work, except to overcome air resistance and friction. The chemical energy has been converted into kinetic energy, the energy of motion, but the process is not completely efficient and produces heat within the cyclist. The kinetic energy in the moving cyclist and the bicycle can be converted to other forms. For example, the cyclist could encounter a hill just high enough to coast up, so that the bicycle comes to a complete halt at the top. The kinetic energy has now largely been converted to gravitational potential energy that can be released by freewheeling down the other side of the hill. Since the bicycle lost some of its energy to friction, it never regains all of its speed without additional pedaling. The energy is not destroyed, it has only been converted to another form by friction. Alternatively, the cyclist could connect a dynamo to one of the wheels and generate some electrical energy on the descent. The bicycle would be traveling slower at the bottom of the hill than without the generator because some of the energy has been diverted into electrical energy. Another possibility would be for the cyclist to apply the brakes, in which case the kinetic energy would be dissipated through friction as heat. Like any physical quantity that is a function of velocity, the kinetic energy of an object depends on the relationship between the object and the observer's frame of reference. Thus, the kinetic energy of an object is not invariant. Spacecraft use chemical energy to launch and gain considerable kinetic energy to reach orbital velocity. In an entirely circular orbit, this kinetic energy remains constant because there is almost no friction in near-Earth space. However, it becomes apparent at re-entry when some of the kinetic energy is converted to heat. 
If the orbit is elliptical or hyperbolic, then throughout the orbit kinetic and potential energy are exchanged, kinetic energy is greatest and potential energy lowest at closest approach to the Earth or other massive body, while potential energy is greatest and kinetic energy the lowest at maximum distance. Without loss or gain, however, the sum of the kinetic and potential energy remains constant. Kinetic energy can be passed from one object to another. In the game of billiards, the player imposes kinetic energy on the cue ball by striking it with the cue stick. If the cue ball collides with another ball, it slows down dramatically, and the ball it hit accelerates its speed as the kinetic energy is passed onto it. Collisions in billiards are effectively elastic collisions, in which kinetic energy is preserved. In inelastic collisions, kinetic energy is dissipated in various forms of energy, such as heat, sound, binding energy breaking bound structures. Flywheels have been developed as a method of energy storage. This illustrates that kinetic energy is also stored in rotational motion. Several mathematical descriptions of kinetic energy exist that describe it in the appropriate physical situation. For objects and processes in common human experience, the formula 1 half mv squared given by Newtonian classical mechanics is suitable. However, if the speed of the object is comparable to the speed of light, relativistic effects become significant and the relativistic formula is used. If the object is on the atomic or subatomic scale, quantum mechanical effects are significant, and a quantum mechanical model must be employed. <laughs> Newtonian kinetic energy Kinetic energy of rigid bodies In classical mechanics, the kinetic energy of a point object an object so small that its mass can be assumed to exist at one point, or a non-rotating rigid body depends on the mass of the body as well as its speed. The kinetic energy is equal to one-half the product of the mass and the square of the speed. In formula form E K equals 1 2 m v 2 display style e underscore text k equals tfrac 1 2 m v caret 2 where m display style m is the mass and v display style v is the speed or the velocity of the body in SI units, mass is measured in kilograms, speed in meters per second, and the resulting kinetic energy is in joules. For example, one would calculate the kinetic energy of an 80 kg mass about 180 pounds traveling at 18 meters per second about 40 miles per hour, or 65 km per hour as E K equals 1 2 80 kg 18 meter per second 2 equals 12 960 j equals 12.96 kj Display style e underscore text k equals frac 1 2 c d o t 80 text kilogram c d o t left 18 text meter per second right carrot 2 equals 12,960 text j equals 12.96 text k j. When a person throws a ball, the person does work on it to give it speed as it leaves the hand. The moving ball can then hit something and push it, doing work on what it hits. The kinetic energy of a moving object is equal to the work required to bring it from rest to that speed, or the work the object can do while being brought to rest. Net force times displacement equals kinetic energy, i.e., F S equals one two m v two. Display style F equals T F R A C one two m v caret two. Since the kinetic energy increases with the square of the speed, an object doubling its speed has four times as much kinetic energy. For example, a car traveling twice as fast as another requires four times as much distance to stop, assuming a constant braking force. As a consequence of this quadrupling, it takes four times the work to double the speed. The kinetic energy of an object is related to its momentum by the equation E k 
equals p 2 2 m display style e underscore text k equals frac p caret 2 2 meters where p display style p is momentum m display style m is mass of the body for the translational kinetic energy that is the kinetic energy associated with rectilinear motion of a rigid body with constant mass m display style m whose center of mass is moving in a straight line with speed v display style v as seen above is equal to e t equals 1 2 m v 2 display style e underscore text t equals t f r a c 1 2 m v caret 2 where m display style m is the mass of the body v display style v is the speed of the center of mass of the body the kinetic energy of any entity depends on the reference frame in which it is measured However the total energy of an isolated system, i.e. one in which energy can neither enter nor leave, does not change over time in the reference frame in which it is measured. Thus, the chemical energy converted to kinetic energy by a rocket engine is divided differently between the rocket ship and its exhaust stream depending upon the chosen reference frame. This is called the Oberth effect. But the total energy of the system, including kinetic energy, fuel chemical energy, heat, etc., is conserved over time, regardless of the choice of reference frame. Different observers moving with different reference frames would however disagree on the value of this conserved energy. The kinetic energy of such systems depends on the choice of reference frame. The reference frame that gives the minimum value of that energy is the center of momentum frame, i.e., the reference frame in which the total momentum of the system is zero. This minimum kinetic energy contributes to the invariant mass of the system as a whole. Topic: <inaudible> Derivation. The work done in accelerating a particle with mass m during the infinitesimal time interval dt is given by the dot product of force f and the infinitesimal displacement dx. f d x equals F V D T equals D P D T V D T equals V D P equals V D M V Display style Math BF F C D O T D Math BF X equals Math BF F C D O T Math BF V D T equals F R A C D Math BF P D T C D O T Math BF V D T equals Math BF V C D O T D Math BF P equals Math BF V C D O T D M Math BF V where we have assumed the relationship P equals mv and the validity of Newton's second law, however, also see the special relativistic derivation below. Applying the product rule we see that d v v equals d v v plus v d v equals 2 V D V Display style D Math BF V C D O T Math BF V equals D Math BF V C D O T Math BF V plus Math BF V C D O T D Math BF V equals two Math BF V C D O T D Math BF V Therefore, assuming constant mass so that DM equals zero, we have V D M V equals M two D V V equals M two D V two equals 
d m v 2 2 Display style math bf v c d o t d m math bf v equals frac m two d math bf v c d o t math bf v equals frac m two d v caret two equals d left frac m v caret two two right. Since this is a total differential, that is, it only depends on the final state, not how the particle got there. We can integrate it and call the result kinetic energy. Assuming the object was at rest at time zero, we integrate from time zero to time t because the work done by the force to bring the object from rest to velocity v is equal to the work necessary to do the reverse. E k equals zero t f d x equals zero t v d M V equals zero V D M V two two equals M V two two Display style e underscore text k equals int underscore zero caret t math bf f c d o t d math bf x equals int underscore zero caret t math bf v c d o t d m math bf v equals int underscore zero caret v d left frac m v caret two two right equals frac m v caret two two this equation states that the kinetic energy is equal to the integral of the dot product of the velocity of a body and the infinitesimal change of the body's momentum p. It is assumed that the body starts with no kinetic energy when it is at rest motionless. <laughs> Rotating bodies If a rigid body Q is rotating about any line through the center of mass then it has rotational kinetic energy E R display style E underscore text R which is simply the sum of the kinetic energies of its moving parts and is thus given by E R equals Q V 2 D M 2 equals q r omega 2 d m 2 equals omega 2 2 q r 2 d m equals omega 2 2 i equals 1 2 i omega 2 Display style e underscore text r equals int underscore q frac v caret two d m two equals int underscore q frac r omega caret two d m two equals frac omega caret two two int underscore q r caret two d m equals frac omega caret two two i equals begin matrix frac one two end matrix i omega caret two where Omega is the body's angular velocity. R is the distance of any mass dm from that line. I display style i is the body's moment of inertia equal to q r two d m display style int underscore q r caret two d m in this equation the moment of inertia must be taken about an axis through the center of mass and the rotation measured by omega must be around that axis more general equations exist for systems where the object is subject to wobble due to its eccentric shape topic <laughs> <laughs> kinetic energy of systems A system of bodies may have internal kinetic energy due to the relative motion of the bodies in the system. For example, in the solar system the planets and planetoids are orbiting the Sun. 
In a tank of gas, the molecules are moving in all directions. The kinetic energy of the system is the sum of the kinetic energies of the bodies it contains. A macroscopic body that is stationary i.e. a reference frame has been chosen to correspond to the body's center of momentum may have various kinds of internal energy at the molecular or atomic level, which may be regarded as kinetic energy, due to molecular translation, rotation, and vibration, electron translation and spin, and nuclear spin. These all contribute to the body's mass, as provided by the special theory of relativity. When discussing movements of a macroscopic body, the kinetic energy referred to is usually that of the macroscopic movement only. However all internal energies of all types contribute to body's mass, inertia, and total energy. <laughs> Frame of reference The speed, and thus the kinetic energy of a single object is frame-dependent relative, it can take any non-negative value, by choosing a suitable inertial frame of reference. For example, a bullet passing an observer has kinetic energy in the reference frame of this observer. The same bullet is stationary to an observer moving with the same velocity as the bullet, and so has zero kinetic energy. By contrast, the total kinetic energy of a system of objects cannot be reduced to zero by a suitable choice of the inertial reference frame, unless all the objects have the same velocity. In any other case, the total kinetic energy has a non-zero minimum, as no inertial reference frame can be chosen in which all the objects are stationary. This minimum kinetic energy contributes to the system's invariant mass, which is independent of the reference frame. The total kinetic energy of a system depends on the inertial frame of reference, it is the sum of the total kinetic energy in a center of momentum frame and the kinetic energy the total mass would have if it were concentrated in the center of mass. This may be simply shown, let V be the relative velocity of the center of mass frame I in the frame K. Since V 2 equals v i plus v 2 equals v i plus v v i plus v equals v i v i plus 2 v i v plus v v equals v i 2 plus 2 v i v plus v 2 Display style text style v caret two equals v underscore i plus v caret two equals math bf v underscore i plus math bf v c d o t math bf v underscore i plus math bf v equals math bf v underscore i c d o t math bf v underscore i plus two math bf v underscore i c d o t math bf v plus math bf v c d o t math bf v equals Equals v underscore i carrot two plus two math bf v underscore i c d o t math bf v plus v carrot two e k equals v two two d m equals v i two two d m plus v v i d m plus v 2 2 d m Display style e underscore text k equals int frac v caret two two dm equals int frac v underscore i caret two two dm plus math bf v c d o t int math bf v underscore i dm plus frac v caret two two int dm. However, let v i two two d m 
equals e i display style int frac v underscore i caret 2 2 dm equals e underscore i the kinetic energy in the center of mass frame v i d m display style int math bf v underscore i dm would be simply the total momentum that is by definition zero in the center of mass frame and let the total mass d m equals m display style int dm equals m substituting we get e k equals e i plus m v 2 2 display style e underscore text k equals e underscore i plus frac m v caret 2 2 Thus the kinetic energy of a system is lowest to center of momentum reference frames, i.e., frames of reference in which the center of mass is stationary either the center of mass frame or any other center of momentum frame. In any different frame of reference, there is additional kinetic energy corresponding to the total mass moving at the speed of the center of mass. The kinetic energy of the system in the center of momentum frame is a quantity that is invariant all observers see it to be the same. topic rotation in systems it sometimes is convenient to split the total kinetic energy of a body into the sum of the body's center of mass translational kinetic energy and the energy of rotation around the center of mass rotational energy e k equals e t plus e r Display style e underscore text k equals e underscore t plus e underscore text r, where ek is the total kinetic energy, et is the translational kinetic energy, er is the rotational energy or angular kinetic energy in the rest frame. This the kinetic energy of a tennis ball in flight is the kinetic energy due to its rotation plus the kinetic energy due to its translation. Relativistic kinetic energy of rigid bodies If a body's speed is a significant fraction of the speed of light, it is necessary to use relativistic mechanics to calculate its kinetic energy. In special relativity theory, the expression for linear momentum is modified. With m being an object's rest mass, v and v its velocity and speed, and c the speed of light in vacuum, we use the expression for linear momentum. P equals m gamma v display style math bfp equals m gamma math bf v where gamma equals one one minus v two c two Display style gamma equals one sqrt one v caret two c caret two. Integrating by parts yields e k equals v d p equals v d m gamma v equals m gamma V V minus M gamma V D V equals M gamma V two minus M two gamma D V two Display style e underscore text k equals int math bf v c d o t d math bf p equals int math bf v c d o t d m gamma math bf v equals m gamma math bf v c d o t math bf v int m gamma math bf v c d o t d math bf v equals m gamma v caret two frac m two int gamma d v caret two since 
gamma equals 1 minus v 2 c 2 minus 1 2 display style gamma equals 1 v caret 2 c caret 2 caret minus 1 half e k equals m gamma v 2 minus minus m c 2 2 gamma d 1 minus v 2 c 2 equals m gamma v 2 plus m c 2 1 minus v 2 c 2 1 2 minus E zero display style begin aligned E underscore text K and equals M gamma V carrot two FRAC mc carrot two two int gamma D one V carrot two C carrot two and equals M gamma V carrot two plus M C carrot two one V carrot two C carrot two carrot one half E underscore zero end aligned E zero display style E underscore zero is a constant of integration for the indefinite integral. Simplifying the expression we obtain E K equals M gamma V two plus C two one minus V two C two minus E zero equals M gamma V two plus C two minus V two minus E zero equals M gamma C two minus E Zero display style begin aligned e underscore text k and equals m gamma v caret two plus c caret two one v caret two c caret two e underscore zero and equals m gamma v caret two plus c caret two v caret two e underscore zero and equals m gamma c caret two e underscore zero end aligned e zero display style e underscore zero is found by observing that when v equals zero gamma equals one display style math b F v equals zero, gamma equals one, and e k equals zero. Display style e underscore text k equals zero, giving e zero equals m c two. Display style e underscore zero equals mc caret two, resulting in the formula e k equals m gamma c two minus m c two equals m c two one minus v. 2 c 2 minus m c 2 display style e underscore text k equals m gamma c caret 2 mc caret 2 equals frac mc caret 2 sqrt 1 v caret 2 c caret 2 mc caret 2. This formula shows that the work expended accelerating an object from rest approaches infinity as the velocity approaches the speed of light. Thus, it is impossible to accelerate an object across this boundary. The mathematical byproduct of this calculation is the mass energy equivalence formula. The body at rest must have energy content E rest equals E zero equals M C two display style E underscore text rest equals E underscore zero equals mc caret two at a low speed v display style v c display style c. The relativistic kinetic energy is approximated well by the classical kinetic energy. This is done by binomial approximation or by taking the first two terms of the Taylor expansion for the reciprocal square root E K approximately equals M C two one plus one two V two C two minus M C two equals one two M 
v 2 display style e underscore text k approximately mc caret 2 left 1 plus frac 1 2 v caret 2 c caret 2 right mc caret 2 equals frac 1 2 mv caret 2 so the total energy e k display style e underscore k can be partitioned into the rest mass energy plus the newtonian kinetic energy at low speeds when objects move at a speed much slower than light e.g. in everyday phenomena on earth the first two terms of the series predominate the next term in the taylor series approximation e k approximately equals m c 2 1 plus 1 2 v 2 c 2 plus 3 8 v 4 c 4 minus m c 2 equals 1 2 m v 2 plus 3 8 m v 4 C two Display style E underscore text K approximately mc carrot two left one plus FRAC one two V carrot two C carrot two plus FRAC three eight V carrot four C carrot four right mc carrot two equals FRAC one two MV carrot two plus FRAC three eight MV carrot four C carrot two is small for low speeds. For example, for a speed of 10 km per second miles per hour, the correction to the Newtonian kinetic energy is 0.0417 J per kilogram on a Newtonian kinetic energy of 50 MJ per kilogram and for a speed of 100 km per second it is 417 J per kilogram on a Newtonian kinetic energy of 5 GJ per kilogram. The relativistic relation between kinetic energy and momentum is given by E K equals P two C two plus M two C four minus M C two Display style e underscore text k equals sqrt p caret two c caret two plus m caret two c caret four mc caret two. This can also be expanded as a Taylor series. The first term of which is the simple expression from Newtonian mechanics. E k approximately equals p two two m minus p four eight M three C two Display style E underscore text K approximately FRAC P carrot two two meters FRAC P carrot four eight meters carrot three C carrot two This suggests that the formulae for energy and momentum are not special and axiomatic, but concepts emerging from the equivalence of mass and energy and the principles of relativity. Topic: General relativity. Using the convention that g alpha beta u alpha u beta equals minus c two. Display style g underscore alpha beta u caret alpha u caret beta equals c caret two. Where the four velocity of a particle is u alpha equals d x alpha d tau display style u caret alpha equals frac d x caret alpha d tau and tau display style tau is the proper time of the particle there is also an expression for the kinetic energy of the particle in general relativity
if the particle has momentum p beta equals m g beta alpha u alpha display style p underscore beta equals m g underscore beta alpha u caret alpha as it passes by an observer with four velocity u o b s, then the expression for total energy of the particle as observed, measured in a local inertial frame, is E equals minus p beta u o b s beta. Display style E equals p underscore beta u underscore text o b s caret beta. And the kinetic energy can be expressed as the total energy minus the rest energy. E k equals minus p beta u o b s beta minus m c two. Display style e underscore k equals p underscore beta u underscore text obs caret beta m c caret two. Consider the case of a metric that is diagonal and spatially isotropic. GTT GSS GSS GSS. Since u alpha equals d x alpha d t d t d tau equals v alpha u t display style u caret alpha equals frac dx caret alpha dt frac dt d tau equals v caret alpha u caret t where v alpha is the ordinary velocity measured w r t the coordinate system we get Minus c two equals g alpha beta u alpha u beta equals g t t u t two plus g s s V two U T two display style c caret two equals g underscore alpha beta u caret alpha u caret beta equals g underscore t t u caret t caret two plus g underscore s s v caret two u caret t caret two. Solving for ut gives u t equals c minus 1 g t t plus g s s v 2 display style u caret t equals c s q r t f r a c minus 1 g underscore t t plus g underscore s s v caret 2 Thus, for a stationary observer, v equals zero. U OBS T equals C minus one G T T. Display style U underscore text OBS caret T equals C sqrt frac minus one G underscore T T. And thus the kinetic energy takes the form E K equals minus M G T T U T U O B S T minus M C two equals M C Two G T T G T T plus G S S V two minus M 
c 2 display style e underscore text k equals mg underscore tt u caret t u underscore text obs caret t mc caret 2 equals mc caret 2 sqrt frac g underscore tt g underscore tt plus g underscore ssv caret 2 mc caret 2 factoring out the rest energy gives e k equals m C two G T T G T T plus G S S V two minus one Display style e underscore text k equals mc caret two left sqrt frac g underscore tt g underscore tt plus g underscore ssv caret two minus one right. This expression reduces to the special relativistic case for the flat space metric where g t t equals minus c two. Display style g underscore t t equals c caret two g s s equals one. Display style g underscore s s equals one. In the Newtonian approximation to general relativity, g t t equals minus c two. Plus two phi display style g underscore t t equals left c caret two plus two phi right g s s equals one minus two phi c two Display style g underscore s s equals one frac two phi c caret two where phi is the Newtonian gravitational potential. This means clocks run slower and measuring rods are shorter near massive bodies. <laughs> Kinetic energy in quantum mechanics In quantum mechanics, observables like kinetic energy are represented as operators. For one particle of mass m, the kinetic energy operator appears as a term in the Hamiltonian and is defined in terms of the more fundamental momentum operator p p. The kinetic energy operator in the non-relativistic case can be written as t equals p 2 2 m Display style hat t equals frac hat p caret two two meters. Notice that this can be obtained by replacing p display style p by p caret display style hat p. In the classical expression for kinetic energy in terms of momentum, e k equals p two m display style e underscore text k equals frac p caret 2 2 meters in the schrodinger picture p caret display style hat p takes the form minus i display style i h bar nabla where the derivative is taken with respect to position coordinates and hence t caret equals minus 2 2 m 2 display style hat t equals frac h bar caret 2 2 meters nabla caret 2 the expectation value of the electron kinetic energy t caret display style langle hat t wrangle for a system of n electrons described by the wave function Psi display style vert psi wrangle 
is a sum of one electron operator expectation values t caret equals psi i equals 1 n minus 2 2 m e i 2 psi equals minus 2 2 m e i equals 1 n psi i 2 psi Display style Langle hat T wrangle equals big Langle psi big vert sum underscore I equals one carrot N F R A C H B A R carrot two two meters underscore text E Nabla underscore I carrot two big vert psi big wrangle equals F R A C H B A R carrot two two meters underscore text E sum underscore I equals one carrot N big Langle psi big vert Nabla underscore I carrot two big vert psi big wrangle where m e display style m underscore text e is the mass of the electron and i two display style nabla underscore i caret two is the Laplacian operator acting upon the coordinates of the ith electron and the summation runs over all electrons. The density functional formalism of quantum mechanics requires knowledge of the electron density only, i.e., it formally does not require knowledge of the wave function. Given an electron density, rho r, display style rho math bf r, the exact n electron kinetic energy functional is unknown. However, for the specific case of a one electron system, the kinetic energy can be written as T rho equals 1 8 rho r rho r rho r d 3 r Display style t rho equals frac 1 8 int frac nabla rho math bf r c d o t nabla rho math bf r rho math bf r d caret 3 r where t rho display style t rho is known as the von Weizsäcker kinetic energy functional. Topic. See also. Escape velocity. Joule. K munitions. Kinetic energy per unit mass of projectiles. Kinetic projectile Parallel axis theorem Potential energy Recoil Notes <inaudible> <inaudible>